Kyle Fred Fur here. Um going to be discussing uh practice lining. Um yeah. Um Yeah, okay, so um content warnings for um obviously PVMT but also for specifically um discussions of ground uh, system architecture and uh, splitting causes and um, hopefully people remember there'll be some um, practical images as well just because they're useful for explanation uh, not going to be drawing one I'm not sure I'd be able to but anyway um, yes so um first thing to come up is what's a well, mathematically okay so um math mathematically a fractal is basically any form that continues on in so for a two dimensional fractal this would be for example um uh a line or uh, the outline of a shape that is infinite in length um, and has a repeating pattern that repeats as you go further as you scale inwards or as you zoom in or zoom outwards. So, um, yeah, and these uh, do then give you an infinite basically circumference for any two-dimensional shape of the fractal outline you know it'll have a specific area to it that can be determined but the circumference will be infinite I'm not sure if circumference is the right term or if that's only for circles but regardless the, the length of the edge of it will be infinite because of the repeating pattern which means that no matter how far you zoom in, you'll end up getting more area. Admittedly, the amount it increases might go down, but it still continues going upwards. Yeah. Um, and that continues upwards if you go to, for example, if you move through dimension, you end up with infinite surface area, but a set volume, and so on as you go up in dimensions, there aren't. English words for higher dimension check volumes the like really so um hard to continue and you know people a lot of the time understandably higher dimensions are harder for people to get their heads around so yeah if you're not used to that in some way yeah it's very difficult um yes okay so um that's fractals mathematically um so um obviously the question then is how does that relate to uh pvmt stuff so uh this in um being a fra uh, fractal would be in reference to the system as a your pattern of splitting um, probably layers and subsystems as well as members but it could be any just any one of those uh, members being the most common and likely to be the most common within any pattern although not necessarily of course um, yeah and of course yeah you end up with what is a similar pattern to a fractal in mathematics of you know, as time goes along you end up with a practically infinite number of head weights and the more you explore internally potentially or the more you find the more appear effectively um, depending on how exactly things have been set up but yeah that's the basic concept there um okay so um the question then becomes why is this 
find this time. Um, and I'm sure some people can guess on this, um, but it's essentially an attempt to continue to provide new um, people to be um, programmed as and when new um, programs are wanted, you know, and they don't want to, and there's no desire to overwrite current existing one. Yeah. Um, that's what the value is there in many ways. Of course, it's not the entire, it's not the only potential reason, but it's certainly one of them. Um, and one of the major ones as well. Uh, so, um, yeah. Especially given that um, internal programmers and controllers can um, time stop new individuals to come out in situations they call for and be ready for want of a better word for um, new indoctrination programming. Um, so, um, how is it done? So, um, obviously, I don't know, it's more, going to be more common, it's got a higher natural split salt capacity, you know, um, but it's not a guarantee, those things aren't a guarantee to come together, it just makes things easier and simpler on the programmers, and so oh, it's more likely to occur in those instances. It might not occur in those instances, it might occur in other instances, but they're going to commonly come together. Um, yeah, so um, splitting is encouraged by internal trauma creation generally, um, with animates with low salt trauma capacity held in traumatic situations. And then um, the new splits. Um, are hunted down and um basically sent through a um priming salt school where they're taught to um who to obey and when to come forwards essentially. They've got a they're taught a front queue internally and then when that front queue comes about, they'll front, and from there, um, the programmers can do whatever they want. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, in terms of deprogramming tips, uh, I'm, you know, um, obviously, you know, in part, this is likely to continue forever just because um, you've sort of got used to that continuous splitting and um, you know um, that threshold for splitting is always going to be lowered because of it you know it's not necessarily that it's always going to continue on in an infinite manner or near infinite manner but it might do it will more so in controlling the um how traumatic those splits are and whether or not the people who are being split are then safe afterwards um which is obviously where um obviously part of this comes back to um the key programming the internal controllers and um programmers inside who um, might well not want to listen especially at first um, and so it might be difficult to reach directly which is where um, rescue salt attempts again for those who are being um, 
tortured to cause the splitting um, might work well. It's not a guaranteed option. Now, there might be, um, if they, the ones doing the torturing can get them back after a rescue salt attempt or find someone new to torture, then obviously that's not going to help much. But otherwise, but if you can keep people safe, that's going to help a lot and provide the breathing room to work with those who were doing the torturing um, in order to hopefully help them heal at least a little bit and um, not doing what they're doing and so on, you know. Um, obviously that's a um, longer term goal than getting people out of bad situations, um, yeah. Okay. This system signing out. Hope to catch you all next week. Please do remember to like, subscribe, comment, especially if you've got any questions you want answered. I'll be happy to answer them either in the comments or in another video. So catch you all next week.